this is a news alert. Yes, there's a lot of things that's happening around our world that my beautiful wife and I, we'd like to bring to your attention. Let's start off with our weather. What you will see as you view the map, the strong wind will blow through California, Nevada, Colorado, Arizona. Cover your eyes when you're outside. Now let's look at these tropical depressions and tropical storms. Tropical depression Iliana has moved on to Mexico. Arizona should feel some effects of the storm. Meanwhile, in the Atlantic, a cyclone formation is forming off the coast of South and North Carolina with Tropical Storm Gordon on the move. Get ready for some strong weather East Coast. Buckle up. Now, let's turn the page on our weather and let's view our seismic activity. Our planet has ramped up, so to speak. In the last 24 hours, we've experienced 388 earthquakes. A magnitude 5.3 shakes Indonesia just to keep everyone on our toes. What we need to do is pray for our planet. Pray for one another in yes. these last and evil days. Now, I'd like to turn it back over to my beautiful wife where she can shed some spiritual light onto what's really going on. Let's get to it. Who changed the truth of God? Romans chapter 1, verses 24 and 25. It is written, Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who change the truth of God into a lie, and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 10. It is written, The adversary of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king, and exalt the horn of his anointed. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 30. It is written, Wherefore the Lord God of Israel saith, I said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father should walk before me forever. But now the Lord saith, Be it far from me, for them that honor me I will honor, and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. Jesus is Lord of Lords and King of Kings forever. Amen. No matter how many dominions and thrones, Thank you, Jesus, Jesus is above everything that has any type of authority. So when you obey God, it's better than obeying man. Amen. Wonderfully said, sweetheart. Do you have any uh Hallelujah. <laughs> Last words. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Don't you ever forget it. <laughs> have, have a blessed day. day.